I'm on the on the fence with the new Metallica. It is good. That's what I think of it. Yeah, I mean, there's always like one or two tracks that are like kind of middling, right? Anyway, let's see. I've heard nothing. Nothing. I've managed to keep myself away from this. We were going to watch this on Wednesday, but I completely forgot. I just got home and was like, we need a guitar time. Okay. All the new tracks are very chunky, though. I'll say that. That's a nice little lick. I have no problem with kind of rhythmic repeating chunkers like this. Well, I, I got into, you're saying harp instrumental and singing. I got into Metallica with the Death Magnetic album, which is just big, long instrumentals. Ooh, the bass is going nice with his voice there. I would say their production has got has skyrocketed. For sure and others. You heard it, folks. James Hatfield just said he's behind Guy Liner. Paint your eyes as black as sorrow. I, okay, I love Metallica, and I have nothing against the emo genre, but that was the most emo Metallica line I've ever heard. Saying that, I would kill to hear a collab um, between MCR and Metallica, actually. I think that was fun. Ooh! I love just, like, little pauses like that. to what to say on the Metallica solos now because every time I make it I say something about 
a Metallica solo. Someone has something to say. So do you know what? Um, that was a solo. That was a solo. No, it was it was a good, it was a decent Kirk solo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that little return there was nice. It definitely reminds me of their merciful fate roots, though. I will say, like, lyrics wise. I love a hypnotic riff like that. So, hey, bunny. Mm. Oh, nice. It's bringing up frequency. Okay. Okay. Are we getting solo number two, maybe? Ah, oh, no, okay. Okay. That's how much I love really long songs. I was ready to like, let's go again. Let's get another solo.